This is the biggest power bank I ever see. Hey yo, what's up guys, it's me Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys which is the Rev Power PD Pioneer 70200MH Power House. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys whether who will need this and why should you buy this and let's just get into the unboxing. So first of all, we can see the box itself is kind of huge and the back of the box actually indicates what's the scenario that you can use for this product. Nothing fancy on the side, just some authentication QR code. Wow! Taking it out for the first time seems already so amazing. The product itself is actually inside the carrying case. And looking at this lunchbox looking alike, it seems like there is a strap for you to hook on the side so that you can carry it as a bag. So I'm actually right, they did include a shoulder strap inside this lunchbox. Also, there is AC adapter for you to charge your device. They also come with USB type C to C and a menu that nobody really reads. And here it is the powerhouse by Rev Power. Everything is full black, it looks very, very sleek very boxy design and i think this is really a nice powerhouse or maybe because this is my first time seeing it so let's see what's the function that it comes with on top of the box there is this two ac power output and this is for your laptop or other devices that draw too much current they will be using these two port on top and the cover itself is rubberish so I'm not sure why did they really do that. Probably is against dust. I'm not very sure, but it is what it is. All right, in the front, there's this Rev Power branding, and you also can see the battery indications. On the side, there's this four port: one for USB Type C, another three for USB Type A. They are all smart charging, but one of them can produce much more power, which is indicated green. And at the back of the device, you can see this vent, a little fan that, that dispute all the heat out of the device to prevent it from overheating. There is also this DC in and out, which is for you to charge this device. Turning another 90 degree, you will see a LED light and also a power button, which is for multiple usage. One is to check the power, one is to on the power and if you do a double tap on the power button, you will get a fresh light. Double tap once again, you will get a stroke light and double tap again, you will get a flashing light which is symbolizes the SOS button. When you are out in the camp or the field, this is super important. So before we do a hardcore testing, I will need to charge this device first and they did include this AC adapter for you to charge this device so right now I'm just going to plug it behind this DC input to charge this unit there is also a way that you can charge this unit by using the solar panel alright so once everything plugged in you should be able to see this blue color LED light running across the indicator so to do this hardcore testing I have a few of the device as you can see on the screen right now one macbook air one ipad pro one phone one gopro one charger and also a led light so first thing first we're going to charge my ipad pro which i'm going to use this ac power outlet before that you have got to press and hold the power button after that switch on the ac power on the top then you will see white light indicated that it is on plug it in and we are good to go so 
so I have my second EC power adapter over here this is for my MacBook Air I'm just going to try to plug it into another EC power on the top so once I plug it in right now there's nothing happening for my MacBook Air and it's not charging and in fact I'm going to tell you the reason why later on so right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to plug in every single USB port to charge all my other random devices actually is I forgot to click the record button so it actually fast forwarded okay so right now I left with just one USB type C port which is I'm going to plug it in for my GoPro charging directly to the cam and as you can see my LumiCube, my power bank and also my iPhone 7 is charging right now so right now it shows that everything is working fine except for my MacBook Air which is because the outlet can only maximum output of 300 volt so the iPad Pro is charging my MacBook Air cannot be charged due to exceeding of voltage so I pick up the iron and which the iron also take out a lot of power try to plug it in it will not work because it exceeded the voltage so hence that this is not working too so right now I'm just going to test using this two port again but controlling the voltage so I found myself another USB fan which consume much lesser power and see whether it works so yes it works means that both on the AC power output outlet it's working fine so because from the box itself it says that it can charge your laptop so my another testing is that I took out the iPad Pro power to plug it into my MacBook Air to see whether it works this time round and guess what it does so I do a reverse way so right now the AC power is giving power to the MacBook Air I'm just going to plug back my iPad Pro to see whether it charge and definitely it does not work reason is because it exceeded the watts so right now on screen I have shown you all the specs of each port that can come out with the maximum output and input for you to reference in order not to maybe spoil this device or something because the AC port itself have a maximum of 300 watt so anything that use takes up a lot more power this device won't work alright so what's the verdict over here this is like a mini generator mini power generator or you want to call it a bigger power bank that can power up most of your device and even down to a mini fridge I believe when you're out for camping and light up a light or even switch on the fan so this is all the basic need for camping wise and other than that it can be great for a backup power if you need one and the price for this is 280 USD or $399 which is about $400 sing dollar this device might not for everybody it could be great for campers or people who do on-site job and there's limitation to access power emergency use or you are in the middle of the field of nowhere all right guys that is it for my video if you like this video make sure you slap a like button be my friend by clicking on the subscribe button and and i will see you in my next video okay thanks bye